forced to fumble and it cost a touchback. So just kind of take us through uh, that whole play and how crazy it was. Uh, you know, just in coverage, just guarding my man like I'm supposed to and just saw the ball thrown, just pursuing to the ball. I saw Reed almost make a break on the ball. He made a great break on the ball and uh, um, just didn't come up with it. And the, defense, the offensive player came up with it. And, you know, I just run to the ball, just playing football like Coach Jesus. What was that emotional swing like? Because, I mean, it looked like Reed had, you know, 85 yards of yeah. open blue in front of him. And then all of yeah. a sudden you're trying to prevent a touchdown from being yeah. scored. It was like slight, slight celebration. And then I had to realize that our guy didn't have the ball. So, you know, I will just run to the ball like coaches teach us and, you know, just make a play. What was it like to uh, get your first college start? Kind of how did you, you find out about it? Uh, it was great getting a first college start, um, you know, but if anyone else was to start out there, just play my role, um, just uh, preparation would be the same and stuff like that. But it's just great to be out there again. What uh, what do you feel like you kind of offer this team in that nickel position? And I, I know that's kind of one that they vary the size and whoever might play there and whether they use it in, at all or not. What, what do you kind of bring to the table, I guess? Um, you know, just what the coaches uh, expect from me, you know, just doing my job. But the great the guys around me, uh, they also do a great job. So that just complicates off me so um, yeah so all of us we work together and just as a great defense so yeah um, to get back to it though what, what was it like you know stepping out on the blue knowing that you you're about to make your first college start um, it was great it was just a great feeling to be out there again um, how about just the, the youth on that on that secondary I mean, or just not defense in general I want to say like six out of the 11 that started were part of that 16 class yeah they're kind of crazy yeah yeah so I mean we prepare the same if we're gonna play or not gonna play but you know just last year uh being retro it was great just to prepare and learn from the older guys like Vallejo and stuff like that but you know being a young group that doesn't mean anything to us you know we're ready to play either way and just at the end of the day just playing football we have great coaches around us to teach us so yeah what is it about uh that group that is kind of unique I, I mean to have over half the defense coming from that one class which has been on campus for like a little over a year i mean yeah. what, what's kind of unique about that group do you feel? um coach ambrose he always tells us you know we got great playmakers in this room just like coach Avalos. he's always telling us we got great players they just expect us uh to do great things and hold us to a high standard so that's all we got to do what will the uh when I say Luke Falk, what do you what do you think? Great player, just uh, he uh, runs his offense very well, and it's a big challenge this week, but we're up for it. So yeah. What what, what kind of makes him so good? And I know a lot of times what it looks like they're doing is just a bunch of check down routes, but if you complete enough of them, you move the chain. So I mean, what what kind of makes him so tough? He's a veteran, so he's been out there. He has great experience out there. He knows the offense very well. He he uh, he uh, does great with the guys around him, the running backs, the receivers. So. You know, he's a great quarterback, but we're up for the challenge this week. It's a big challenge, and I think we'll be ready. You know, I think the one thing that worked out so well last year is that you guys you guys kept guys in front of you, and you're very physical when you came up. So how how, how will that play into this week again? Once, once again? Uh, the routes, you know, just let the routes develop and stuff like that, and just um, – can you ask a question again? Yeah, no, 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 no. Just like, uh, last, last year, I, I feel like you guys did a good job of keeping guys in front of you and coming down. I mean, they said it after the game, especially in like number 20, Tanner Vallejo, that is very physical. So, uh, why is that necessary? Why is that important, yes? Uh, just to be physical in the pass game, because we know they're going to pass a lot, but also be physical in the run game and just uh, make them one dimensional, like the coaches said. So. They kind of use their running backs. And, I mean, they're one of them had 13 catches last week. So, I don't, what, what do you think of how they use their running backs? They're great running backs, great fast physical running backs. You know, just if they run the ball with the running backs, we'll be ready to stop the run. If they pass, we'll be ready to cover them and come up and make tackles. I guess the, finally, um, as they were reviewing that play, uh, what's, what's kind of like going through your mind? Oh uh, well, I was cramping on the sideline, so I was over there cramping. I was just watching on the big screen. I actually, I wasn't sure if I knocked it out or not, but when I was watching on the big screen, I had seen. I was like, yeah, I think that'll be a touchback. And you know, once the coach, the refs had called it, I was just excited. You know, make a great uh, play for my team and just uh, give us the momentum back. Um, in fall camp, how often? I mean, like, you know, I know you guys work on catching the ball and stuff, but how hard is it to kind of simulate, you know, working on stri actually stripping the ball out like that? Yeah. So uh, the coaches, they do a great job. They, uh, we, like they say, they say shoulder punch like uh, so we can uh, get the ball out and be physical and stuff like that and we're always working to attack the ball when it's in the air in the ball carrier's hands you know when they have bad ball security so they've they've taught it all the way back in the in spring and winter and stuff like that so it just carries over all right well, the last one for me is just uh, how important is it to make to when you get the, when you get the opportunity to make the most of it especially when you're trying to you know find to be a starter how important is it to make the most of an opportunity when it presents itself? Uh, when an opportunity presents itself, you know, just be a football player at the end of the day. You know, the coaches, they're out there. They trust us to make plays, and 
they want us to make plays and we want to make plays. So at the end of the day, just play football like you've always done.